Hello, assalamu alaikum. Uh, we were doing filing. In last class, we discussed all the concepts and did a uh, few things to make you understand. We did discuss uh, pseudocodes and everything regarding the filing. And then <coughs> we finished the topic. Today, we are going to discuss past papers, topical past papers for the funding. So let us start. So this is uh, basically 2016 P22. So it says a team keeps a record of the scores made by each of their eight players in a number of games. The data in the two tables below shows the scores of the eight players after 20 games. The eight player names in the other array. Okay. The team wants a computer program to input and record the player data. The player names are permanently stored in a text file names.txt with one name on each line. The player names will be read by the program and stored in 1D array. All right, player names were stored in 1D array. Okay. Now, the design given in part A will be expanded so that the user is prom prompted for the player name instead of the player number. Okay. Read the player name from the file into the array player name input this player name, search the player name array for this player name to find the player name. So it is sort of the program that there is this array, let's say, let's call it names. There are names in this array. Hold on for a moment. we have to input a name and if that name is already there, we will actually be telling the user that we are not going to take this name as it is already entered into the array. And if name is not found in the array, we will enter that to the array. All right, so player names are permanently stored in text file with one name on each line. The player names will be read by the program and stored in a 1D array. The design given in part A will be expanded so that the user is prompted for the player name instead of the player number. Step to now become read the player name from the file .txt into the array player name. Input this player name. Search the player name array for this player name to find the player number. You will have to actually read this question because this is not making sense. This is 2016, P22, question 5.
all right the team wants a computer program to input the records of the player the programmer designed the following pseudo code for the input of the player's score from one game input game number input player number input player score and then game number and player number Describe the data structure the programmer has used for the storage of all player scores, and this is two-dimensional array. State the computing term for the expansion of one or more of the steps in the original design. This is uh, decomposition. Stepwise refinement and write the program code for 2.1. Okay, read the player names from the file into the array player name. Okay, so we have to write the program just for 2.1. We are not going to write the program code, rather we are going to write the pseudo code for the reason that this year we will have only pseudo codes. So part A answer is 2D array, yes Umar, that is 2D array. Sir, Jeff Gassers use होती थी तो अगर एक कैसेट में पांच सॉन्ग्स स्टोर हैं कैन वी ओनली लिसन टू इट इन ऑर्डर इट इज सेव्ड या अपनी मर्जी का सॉन्ग सेलेक्ट किया जा सकता था सो यू हैड टू एक्चुअली फॉरवर्ड एंड रिवाइंड बिट इट इफ यू वांट टू लिसन टू सॉन्ग नंबर 3 देयर यूज्ड टू बी एन इंडेक्स ओवर द कवर ऑफ द कैसेट एंड इफ यू वांट टू लिसन टू सॉन्ग नंबर 3 यू वुड हैव टू फॉरवर्ड टू सॉन्ग्स यस you could have listened to the song that you like to but you would have to forward other songs all right so there is this array which is already populated sorry which is already empty this is the file that has all the names in it so let's first declare the array clear player name as array let's make it 1 uh, to 8 this is one dimensional array of a string once you do that we will have to open the file all right so we will have to open the file that is open file for read open file names dot txt for read this is the syntax for sudo code now the file is open we will have to have i as an integer so that we could use this i as the index for the array now this is understanding that there are eight names so array will go on for eight times in the loop will as well so while not end of file names dot txt all right so we will have to now read a record so we are like read file 
the name of the file is names.txt and we will have to read that in a string so we have to have another variable So we will be reading it in file line. This is the variable. Now, we will have to save this file line into the next subsequent location. So first we will have to make this I one and then we will put it in player name player name i is equal to file line okay so i is one later we will add one to i first so that next time when we add to player name array this goes to the subsequent location And while and then we will close the file. So you see what we are doing is we declared one index integer, then we declared the array then we declare the file line as a string this is the basically this is basically the variables there which we will use to uh, input the data from the file one line at a time so we open the file for read because we are reading from the file and then uh, i is equal to one we initialized i to the first location this is index while not end of file name.txt read file, we read the file one line at a time and then we assign that line to the array's next location. We improve the location. This would go on once that is done. We get out and we close the file. Sad program code is basically the code, uh, the visual basic code. Hello, Sharia Rashid. Now, so this is it. Visual Basic or Pascal code. I'll be teaching Pascal next year in A2s. So, this is another question. October, November 2016, P21. The company maintains a file of product data. Emmer is to write a program to add a new product and search for the product based on the structure diagram shown. Product processing, add products, search for product, search for product by product code, by description, by price. The program records the following data for each product, product code, product description, and the retail price. The text file products stores each data item item on a separate line. So this is product code. This is product description. This is the retail price. And then this is one record. Then we have got another record. All right. So one record is made up of three lines. Remember product code, product description, retail price. The program uses the variables shown in the identifier table. Products, P code, P description, P retail price, and I as integer, obviously for the reasons you know. Text file name is products. 
and there are there is an array for 1000 products now the open open file products since we are reading we open the file for read read as an input all right we open the file for read now i while not end of file products it is not necessary that file has got this extension in it it is really fine that if the file goes without extension like in this case it is products dot or products products and dot nothing in the previous case it was dot txt file so it is already fine now we have got three variables we are going to read the, this file into those variables and those were p code p description p retail price so that is p code p description p retail price all right then what we have to do and write them into the three 1d arrays into the three 1d arrays what are those 1d arrays okay these are arrays not a string So P code underscore string P description underscore string P retail price underscore string and then we are going to save all of it to their respective arrays. So P code I is equal to p code underscore string p description i is equal to p description underscore string p retail price I is equal to P retail price underscore string. So this is done. And then we will have to have I is equal to I plus one. So the file will be read three lines at a time into three different variables. P code is string, P description is string, and P retail price is string. Why string? Because the data in the file is saved as a string. And then we transfer those three strings to three locations, subsequent locations in three different arrays as they were mentioned above P code, P description, and P retail price. They have 1000 elements each. And then since we are using this I, as the subscript or index we increase the index over here and end by and then we close the products and then there is an output that says product file contents written to the arrays now when ahmad designed the products file he considered the alternative file structure shown opposite what they have actually done they have i think merged everything together it was stores one product per line in the text file is state one benefit and one drawback of this file design benefit will be less records 
the number, the, the size of the file will not be reduced. You see, as much data is saved, whether you break the data and save it in three lines, or you put the whole data in one line, in any case, you are giving the file same amount of data. So the size of the file will not be reduced because file will be carrying as much data. But number of records will be reduced. Earlier, there will be three lines per record. And if there are 1,000 records, it means that you would have 3,000 lines. But if it is one line per record, it means that you would have 1,000 lines. Less records, fast reading. Obviously, you would not have to read three records. Rather, this time you will have to fast file reading. And the drawback will be you would have to do a string manipulation. A string manipulation is required. Why it is required, you would have to actually extract data from the left, the code, in the middle, the name, on the right, the price. So, you know, so the program code will be complex. Okay, and program code complex. Which I, now, let's go back. May, June 2016, Claude, Claudia stores her large collection of music CDs in different places. Claudia wants to record where she stores each CD. She decided to write a program to do this. Data items for a typical CD are title, artist, and location. These all are strings. <coughs> The data is to be stored in a text file, My Music. Each line of the text file will be a string formed by concatenating the three items. You see, concatenating. It means that you have to put all three items together and then you will be saving it as a single record. Concatenation, merging of strings. Before concatenation, the title artist will each be made into fixed length string of 40 characters. So. Actually, before concatenation, title and artist will be of 40 string then. So if the title has got like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 characters, it means that you would have to actually make it uh, 40 by having 27 spaces in it. All right. I hope that you get the idea. Before concatenation, the title and artist will each be made into fixed length string of 40 characters. Space characters may need to be added to each data item. The location is always eight characters. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So location is always eight characters. So it means that it will be entered as eight characters. So we will not have to do anything to make it eight characters. So it will be entered that way. Explain the benefit of making the stored data into fixed length string. It will be easier to read the uh, different fields from the same string. It will be easier to read the data. It, it means that we will be reading left 40 characters for title, 41 to 80 characters for artist, and right 8 characters for location. That is how you can say that. Drawback again, a larger program. And it will be hard for us to uh, basically search for, let's say, artist. So every time we, we will be searching a record, we will have to actually read a record. We will then be extracting that middle 40 character and then we are matching it with the required data. And also the program code will be more complex. That would be the only, uh, and maybe, maybe program complexity and program size is another drawback. The size of the program will be increased because the complexity will be increased. When Claudia buys a new CD, the CD must be added to the existing file, My Music. She has written a procedure in 
sudo code. This has the following file handling statements. Open the file for write. The write file. All right. So this output string will be saved to the file and close the file. There is a problem with the logic of this sudo code. State the problem. Only one record will be saved. No. This is for write. Write is equivalent of a pair, um, output. Write is equivalent of output. So all the previous record will be deleted. When the new record will be actually stored, uh, the all new records will be gone. So this is basically the problem. This has to be append. So all the previous files should be preserved and a new file records. All the previous records should be preserved and a new file record will be added at the end of the file. There's a problem with this logic of this pseudo code. Identify the effect it will have on the final code when the if the final code is implemented this way, give a possible solution. So I told you that this is for output, you have to use. Append. Claudia needs to output a list of all the CDs in a particular location. All right, in a particular location. She designs the procedure output location list. She designs a procedure output location list. To do this, she also chooses the following identifier. So CD location, CD artist, CD title. The procedure will be prompt for the name of the location. Input the location such as this. Search the file for all the CDs at this location. Output the title and artist for each CD found. Output the total number of CDs found at the location such as whatever. Take a write program code. So we are not going to write the program code. As usual, we are going to write the pseudo code. So let's first declare location to be searched. location to be searched and then we have to have search location then we have to have CD title then we have CD artist then CD location Then file line. This is the variable that we are going to use the that we are going to use to read the data from the file. They all as a string. Then we have to have uh, the counter. Then the counter declare total as integer so that we could count that how many cities are present in that particular location. Now, prompt for the name of the location. Output. Enter. Location. To search for. All right, and then we import into search location. All right, search the file for all the CDs. So open file, the name of the file was music for read, because we are going to read the file name of the file is my music All right, now search the file. So we have to read while not 
end of file my music all right and then we read it read file read file my music into what file line now we have to break the file line into cd title cd artist cd location so cd title is equal to left of file line comma 40 <clears throat> then cd artist cd artist is equal to middle of file line 41 comma 40 means start from the 41st character and go for 40 characters that would Sorry, I got disconnected. Let us start again.
तो आप यहां देख सकते हैं दैट फर्स्ट वी हैव डिक्लेयर्ड ऑल द वेरिएबल्स स्टूडेंट लोकेशन वेरिएबल्स सो दैट वी कुड एक्चुअली टेक द लोकेशन एज इनपुट टू सर्च फॉर एंड देन सीडी टाइटल सीडी आर्टिस्ट सीडी लोकेशन वेयर वी विल बी एक्चुअली स्टोरिंग द डाटा फ्रॉम एवरी रिकॉर्ड एंड द फाइल लाइन दिस इज द लाइन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज that we are actually going to use uh to read the data the record from the file then we declare total integer so that we could find actually this total is not total it is count so it will be counting that how many locations how many cds uh, total locations are there how many cds for that location are there then we enter location we actually prompt for the name of the location and that we take it into the student uh, sorry um, search location open my music that is the name of the file for read because we are going to read the data from the file and then we have while not end of file so this loop will go on until the whole file is read we read one line from the file in file line and then we extract cd title cd artist title from the left 40 character title uh, artist from the middle 40 character and location from the right eight characters and then we check that if the cd location is equal to the location we are searching for which is search location if it is then we output the artist and title as they have said over there output the title and location of each cd found so if it is found and then we do this now the last thing that i think is good idea is to define a flag is found as boolean and make it is found false so if we find it then first thing that we are going to do is we are going to make is found is equal to true and lastly over here we can say that if is found is equal to true then output total cd is found else output 